What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Fix-It Garage and the Subaru Beetle. Today we are going to go ahead and finish the fabrication on these radiator brackets so we can final install them and install the radiator in the car. If you guys don't remember, we've been fabricating these radiator brackets. They are mostly done. We just need to clean them up, cut them, and make them look a little better and make it a little easier to install them in and out of the car. We still have a little bit more fabrication to do on them before they are done, but once they're done, we'll get them painted and we'll get them thrown in the car, and that project will be completely done and we can start making our coolant lines. But before we can do that, we need to finish those radiator brackets, so let's jump right back into the fabrication on these radiator brackets. But before we get started, if you guys like seeing this kind of fabrication content, please don't forget to smash that like button to help support the channel and the YouTube algorithm. With that being said, guys, let's get right into fabricating these parts.
right, so we have our two pieces all cleaned up, welded, and they're actually ready for paint. So here they are on the radiator. You guys can see this side where we're gonna run two brackets, which we'll need to drill a hole in once it's all finally installed. And this side, we're only gonna run one. That way we can still take the radiator out without removing the brackets if we need to. So I was able to take a lot more material off of this side and actually add a gusset in right here. So that way then this thing is completely strong and ready to be installed in the car. I've already done our test fitting with it and it fits perfectly. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw some paint on it and then we're going to finally install this stuff in the car, hopefully for good. All right guys, so we have these things all painted in a nice satin black. Seeing as under that hood area, I've kind of wrinkled black painted it. We don't need to do anything fancy. Just a nice simple coat of black paint to help prevent these things from rusting in the future. We even got inside here, inside that gusset. So everything has a nice even coat of paint. They're not perfect, but this is gonna be good enough for this project. So let's go ahead now, let's get these things mounted on the radiator and installed in the car for hopefully the final time. Okay guys, so we have the radiator installed here. One small little drawback is it's a little loose right now. I want it to actually sit more upright, but you guys know that on this side we built another bracket with a little piece on it. Now that was done so I can hold it how I want it and actually drill a hole over here and bolt it into the front frame rails, making it so I can have it sit right where I want it, which is right about there but I don't have to take this all apart to fix that other than I might have to take the radiator out when I go to drill the hole. But otherwise, this thing's completely installed. It looks okay. It probably looks better than the front of this car with the car being all crunched up over here and here and not being very straight anymore. Now that this piece is in the front of the car, this section is actually tied back together. Again, we're gonna put another bolt in on this side so it'll have enough points to hold it up like this which should give us plenty of room to pull an elbow out and have it, our coolant lines come around, up and over and cross this one down in front of the radiator fan. And this one, actually this will go across kind of the top area of the radiator. This one will go on the bottom and they'll meet up here and head towards the back of the car. But the radiator is now in and I honestly think this looks perfect for what I'm doing. I just need to go ahead and cap off that uh, what would be the vent line, which will now be the radiator drain. I just need to do something there so it won't leak from that hole. Probably really good hose clamp and a nice solid hose that'll seal it, but that should be good enough for this car. So yeah, the radiator brackets are done and the radiator is final installed. We can go ahead and check that off the list for the cooling system. One last project that we need to get done before we can go ahead and finish this car. I think that's probably gonna do it for today's video. We've now got the radiator brackets done. We can go ahead and move on to another project that we're gonna try to get done, which will be the, hopefully either the fuel system or we're gonna fully finish the cooling system next time. Depends on what materials I can get my hands on before the next video. 
But with that being said, I want to thank all of you guys for watching. As always, if you like what you see, please don't forget to hit that like button, leave some comments down below, and if you don't want to miss any future videos on this car or any other projects, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ding the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out and follow my Instagram for some sneak peeks of future projects or things that I'm doing with the race car or with this or any other project. Be sure to follow so you guys don't miss anything on my Instagram. But with that being said, guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.